Watami. I think I've mentioned Watami. You may remember I talked about Watami a wee while ago. Watami is a, is a, is a yeah, the only izakaya in Japan that I will not go into on moral principle. It's a popular chain. It is a widespread chain. It's one of the biggest chains of izakaya, Japanese style pubs, you'd say, but they're actually like restaurants. You sort of go into them, you sit down, but the, you go there primarily to drink and eat snacks with them. And, you know, the, the, this guy, he figured out a good sort of a, a business model for, um, you know, for quite good food, good atmosphere, good drinks, good service, quite affordable, um, repeated the chain all over the country and became rich. Turned out that, yeah, he achieved this by um, treating all of his employees like slaves, not paying them and working them to death. And the result was excellent service uh, and cheap food. But um, when people started dying... Um, and, and, and the president start, you know, of the company, the CEO of the company started tweeting uh, that, um, you know, uh, some people just couldn't hack it. <laughs> and they were basically just uns very unsympathetic uh, things, even cases where employees had clearly worked to death, you know, four days and sort of been abused and so on. And the company just came back and said, no, they're just exaggerating. It must have been something else. Um, totally just unsympathetic uh, and horrible. Um, and so basically the, the, the personification of an evil boss by Japanese working people to death standards, like, like work them to death and not even sorry about it and please come and enjoy our, 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 our cheaper than average cheese balls at 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, so yeah, yeah, he, this, this company just became like the, the symbol of um, the very worst uh, conditions of the restaurant industry. Uh, and it was at that time that the uh, Liberal Democrat Party of Japan thought, you know what, here's a person we should put really high up on our party list for the next election. Um, and I've mentioned before how Japan, you know, the LDP could fix the gender representation problem on the LDP party list tomorrow if they wanted to, just by deciding that they would stack the first 10 or 15 positions on their party list for the PR vote. You know, in Japan, it's proportional representation. So in addition to direct local representatives that you elect, like in America, you also get to vote for party and they'll fill in, they'll, they'll make sure that the overall balance of the seats in the parliament are uh, based, uh, the, the, they'll adjust the balances to make sure that those match the party vote representation levels based on the, the party lists, which is just a list of names, you know, one through whatever hundred. And they decided to put Watami, um, basically the, the, the you know, um, Dr. Mengele of the uh, restaurant industry at like near the top of the party list. So he didn't actually have to run for a seat. He didn't get elected anywhere. It's just for the people who just put a vote in the LDP column, um, put him in by default. Um, so instead of, you know, all the other things they could have done with the list, they, they put a slave, um, <laughs> uh, they, they put a slave driver uh, into parliament. And in parliament, well, he's been busy, you know, um, and, and congratulations. He's actually figured out how to give himself a $90 million uh, aid uh, to support his own business um, in a special trial to see different ways of supporting business through the pandemic. The government's decided to give uh, Watami a um, boom. I, I could actually log into this, but I think it's at the top here anyway. The Development Bank of Japan is, yeah, it's it's promising it's going to change its business model, hopefully to not killing its employees anymore. And they're actually going to experiment with this uh, to see, you know, to, to, to help them through the pandemic and so on by promising to um, adjust their business model with a $90 million loan. So it's good to be in parliament, um, it seems. Um, kind of crazy of all the companies that got that that got this uh, that they gave it to a company that's actually considered a black you know like a company that actually abuses its workers um, and, and who's kind of uh, inverse celebrity uh, company president is, is is frankly a person who just got into parliament by default and, and, and he's, he's got himself a 90 million dollar loan it's kind of crazy so, uh, yeah. Hey, what I mean, that's right, guys, English world. I mean, you know, just bear in mind that those, uh, you know, salty snacks are from the tears of the employees. But, you know, taste they taste good uh, and it's cheap and it's affordable. I, I, I've always been a Saizeria person myself. <laughs> Not quite as classy as what I mean, you know, but uh, yeah, it's all microwave there, but still pretty good for what it is. Uh, could be a psychopath. Believe in yourself. Well, that's kind of that's kind of the profile that people have. But um, but anyway, <laughs> Uh, yeah, very, 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 very Trumpian anyway, uh, to just sort of double down on the badness.